Pelican Automaton. Today we will put together the Timber Kits Pelican Automaton. I would encourage you first to open your kit and number all the pieces, especially the dowels, because there are different size dowels, number threes, number twos, and different lengths of dowels. And this will make it easier when it comes time to pick the pieces instead of having to refer back to the part numbers. The part numbers are provided in the booklet and we will be going page by page. First we will start with page four. You will need parts number one and two of the little dowels that are two, a number two and they are eight millimeters long. It helps to have a millimeter stick to measure, but they are all clearly marked on your in your box. You will also need number twos. There are two of them. And number three, that is 12 millimeters long. They will go in the top. And you will need a number three, two of these that are 21 millimeters long. You can use either wood glue or Elmer's glue all. This works fine, but the wood glue is a little bit thicker. And I like to put some into a separate container and use a brush rather than trying to squeeze it each time. So we'll take part number one and insert each of these little dowels in the holes. Clean it up a little bit. And we will put these in and set it aside to dry. You want them flush on this side. Set it aside to dry. Then we're taking part number two and I've got them the holes going at this angle. We'll take the 12 medium millimeter dowel and insert those into the hole on both of them. And then insert the two 21 millimeter dowel. These are going to match up their mirror image of each other. So you'll want to insert the glue, put it on one of them, like so. For larger area, I use a brush and we're going to glue number two part to the number three part. Oh, you can also put glue on the dowel, but they do fit rather snugly, so it you don't need a lot of glue. And you'll push it on like so and line them up. Do the same on this one. Put a little glue on the ends and the dowel. Push it in and line it up and wipe off the excess glue. You can double check your thing to make sure that once you put them together, they will work together. These need to be lining up like 
like so. Now we won't be assembling these till a little bit later, but we do want to make sure that they will line up correctly once they are put together with the other pieces. So don't glue this yet. And I will set those aside to dry. Now we will be using parts number four, five, and six, and one dowel that is the number three by 15 millimeters. Assemble the dowel first into part number four on the top. Then we will put glue on part number five, or I can I like to put it on the smaller part rather than the larger part. So we can put the glue on part number four and the dowel and assemble it into part number five, like so. And part number six, we'll be gluing to each side of that and lining up with the back so it's even. So we'll paint the glue onto here on part number six. And attach it. Wipe off any excess glue. And set it aside to dry. Now we will assemble those parts that have had time to dry. You're going to be taking this part with the dowels that are in it and attaching this part here. Oh, first we need to wax them. You should have a little uh, wax crayon and you're going to rub the wax all over the dowels. This will help it have no friction when it is um, trying to move. Then you will assemble this part onto the top dowel. Part number seven, which looks like this, onto the bottom dowel. They should be able to move. And this uh, part number one that we assembled earlier is going to go into this, this hole. We are not using glue on these parts because we want them to be able to move. And we'll set that aside. Now you will need part number eight, part number nine, and a dowel that is a number three by 24 millimeters. We will put glue on this end, stick it into the feet, and the, it should be at this angle. And it is actually going to come through and stick out on this end of the part number nine. This will allow it to go into the base and we'll put glue on this dowel and attach part number eight on the dowel. And it will only go in so far and that's so that we can have that stick out. I think I'm going to put a little bit more glue on this to make it stick really well. This is the support system for the whole body. So we'll stick that on there. That concludes page number five and we'll let that dry. Next you will need all of these parts. It's easier if you set them out ahead of time. 
you'll need a number 10 and a number 3 dowel that is 33 millimeters long. You will need one of the two bills that is uh, number 12. You want the one that slants this way. So we'll set the other one aside. You will need num part number 11 that will fit right on there. A dowel that is a number two by 21 millimeters. And then all the little fish parts, 13, 14, 15, a dowel that is two by 30 millimeters. And then a dowel that is two by 20 millimeters, part number 16, part number 17, and a dowel that is two by seven millimeters. We will assemble these parts. The glue goes on this dowel. There are two of these, but we're only doing half of it for right now, so we'll put the glue in the hole Make it flush, set it aside. We're gonna put a dowel with no glue through this hole. It should move freely. We are going to glue along the edge of the bill. And attach this piece these are parts number 11 and 12, and we want this to form the jawline of the bill and be pretty flush with it. Line up at the end here, line up as evenly as possible here, and this side is the side that bevels from fatter to skinnier, so you want it on the inside of the bill, not the outside. And then we'll set that aside. Then we'll assemble the fish. So we'll take the top or dorsal fin, put a little glue on it, and attach it to the top of the fish. Put a little on the tail fin. It's okay if it goes in the hole because we're going to be sticking a dowel through and put the dowel, get a little glue on the dowel, and stick it into the hole and assemble all the parts. It's a little bit snug. Might need a little bit more glue on that. And once you have it assembled, you want it to set for a couple minutes so it will be dry. This 20 millimeter dowel goes into the end of the 16, part number 16. This one's going to be a little bit tight. Might have to push it on. And then this will fit in between part number 17. And this is the dowel you do not want to glue until after you have assembled it. So you put it through the hole, through part number 16, and it should go all the way through to the other side. This part should be able to move, so we don't want to glue it until after we get it assembled and then we'll put just a little glue on the outside of each end of the dowel to help it stay put. And then this will be assembled with this piece, but we might need to let that dry a little longer. I think I'll let it dry a little longer before I assemble it. 
but this dowel would go in that hole. If you have, if the end of your dowel is a little bit ragged, you can take your sandpaper and smooth it out so that it will fit into the hole. It's time to put the feet and the body together. We are not going to be gluing it at first. We're going to line up these holes with these holes. Put the dowel through. And working it through to get the dowel to go through the part and all the way to the other side. It's not easy, but it can be done. You have to kind of wiggle it a little bit to get it through both parts, both holes. When you get it through, it should look like that. Dowel, part, part, dowel. Once you get it through, then you can put a little glue on the outside to keep the dowel from moving out of this piece. We don't, we want the dowel to move, but not fall out. So we'll put a little bit of glue on the outside, get rid of the excess glue, now we can assemble the beak. So we're going to take the part number 10. This uh, long piece will go through that tiny little hole. Part number 10 will go through the neck, the hole in the neck near the top. And through this hole so you can line them up and get them to go through each other until it looks like that. We will be gluing just a little part. We want the eye to be a little bit above the beak and we'll put just a little bit of glue to hold the beak to the eye like that. We are not putting glue on the moving parts. Then we want to assemble this part. A little dowel slipped out. We're going to be putting glue on the end of the beak that will match up with the neck. So all along here. We'll match it up. And this dowel goes through that hole to help hold it in place. It should go in far enough, but still stick out. Next is assembling the fish into the mouth. There is a tiny hole in the top bill. That is where this dowel will fit. If it doesn't fit, which this one's a little tight, you can sand it with a little piece of sandpaper that came with your kit so that it will fit in that hole. You'll put a little bit of glue on the dowel and stick it into the hole. And it should be able to move and it moves a little bit this way as it slides in and out of the beak and set that aside to dry. Need part number 18 and a dowel that is three, number three dowel that is 22 millimeters in length. We'll put the part number 18 in there, work the dowel into the hole until it goes through both 
sides, this side, all the way through to that side. We'll put a little bit of glue on each side to hold the dowel in place. But that part should be able to move. Okay, this, we're going to add this piece. It has to fit on this dowel, this dowel, and these two dowels. It might take a little bit of uh, maneuvering to get them all to line up. I find it best to kind of get them lined up and then work with the tightest ones first, which are down here. And it takes a little bit of maneuvering to get it to go on. And the eye fell off. So this one will be the last one to get it through all the parts. And you'll push until you get all the dowels to line up like so. They should come through here, here, and here.